Women are concerned about the glass ceiling. Women that I have seen in organizations have not been able to have the opportunity they deserve to have in getting ahead in organizations. If we're going to compete as a nation, we've got to draw upon the skills of, of women and minorities. And I see organizations from the federal government to corporations that are not drawing on the skills and abilities of women and minorities. What are your views about breaking through the glass ceiling? Strongly uh, support it. That's been my record. I've co-sponsored the legislation. Listen, I'm glad you're all for these matters now. You know, I'm glad we, but we don't have that kind of an opportunity uh, in the, the United States Senate. Glass ceiling, read my record. I'm a co-sponsor of the toughest bills to deal with it, and we'll continue to battle for it. Mr. Romney. Uh, when you said you're glad to hear I'm for it now, let me assure you, Senator, that my entire life has been one of working with women and helping women through the glass ceiling. As chief executive officer of Bain & Company, as you know, the highest paid person in our firm was a woman, and the chairman of the board is a woman. The chief financial officer in my firm is a woman. I have backed women entrepreneurs. Some came, one individual came to me with an idea for building a chain of child care centers that would have child care at the work site. I backed her and helped her build that business. But now let me tell you, what I think we need to do I don't is know to why require you have to all boast public... About it. Why do you have to boast about it? I don't Isn't boast that... about it. When you say I, it, you're happy to see me come now to this position, I feel somewhat... Uh, in, a, in an opportunity that, that I have to respond to that because I don't think it's, a, uh, it's an appropriate thing to say to someone without being able to respond. Now let me tell you my, my point on the issue. My point on the issue is I believe that public companies and federal agencies should be required to p report in their annual 10K the number of minorities and women by income group within the company so we can identify where the glass ceiling is and break through it. And I think that the market of America will say that company has not promoted women, has not promoted uh, minorities, and will, and will put pressure on American corporations and agencies to respond.